Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? This is Felix from L1News.com. On like almost us. Hey, there's word out that the Yankees are trying to dump salary because they are heavy favorites to land you Darvish. You Darvish, sources are saying that he wants to be a New York Yankee or LA Dodger. This is why it's taking so long. The Yankees are desperately trying to move Jacoby Ellsbury. Like I told you guys, the Yankees told Ellsbury a long time ago, weeks ago, that he will not be returning to New York. Okay, so you can forget about Ellsbury being a Yankee. But they're expediting his departure because they want to get you Darvish. So what does this mean? This means that the New York Yankees are heavy favorites in landing you Darvish. Obviously, you Darvish wants to become a Yankee. The Yankees want to add you Darvish, like I said in my previous video about the Yankees starting rotation. It's not, we can't bet 100% that they're going to duplicate the success that they had last year. And we really didn't see that much success from pitchers other than Severino and Sabathia. So the Yankees are desperately trying to add an ace because you Darvish can be your ace on the New York Yankees. And I'm seeing a whole bunch of so-called Yankees experts, you know, on Twitter Supposedly experts say, oh, Ellsbury's not going to be moved. Oh, he's going to be the fourth outfielder. Oh, uh, yeah, you're forgetting to mention John Carlos Stanton. You think he's handicapped? You think he's not going to see time in the outfield? And in my opinion, he's going to be left field, okay? The Yankees are not going to have five outfielders, okay? Period. Ellsbury is gone. Then I see people comparing Jacoby Ellsbury to Austin Jackson. Oh, you can't move Ellsbury because Austin Jackson got this much and he look how much he got paid. It's nothing. Ellsbury is better than Austin Jackson. That is an insult to Jacoby Ellsbury. Okay? Austin Jackson was always looked at as a player, like a regular player on your baseball team. Jacoby Ellsbury was always looked at somebody that can carry your team, an all-star. Okay? So, when healthy, Jacoby Ellsbury again, is a great addition to anybody's ball club. Any team in playoff contention adding a Jacoby Ellsbury will automatically make them favorites to, let's say, go to the World Series. That is the impact that Jacoby Ellsbury will have on a team in contention. He is not that bad. Quit trying to bash Jacoby Ellsbury. The only reason why Yankees fans bash him is because he doesn't fit on a team with another player that's similar to him, Brett Gardner. We already had a Jacoby Ellsbury before we signed Ellsbury. Also, if you search on Twitter and type in Frazier Mets, don't type in Todd Frazier because some people, sometimes they write a player's last name, just type Frazier Mets and look through the tweets. You'll see it being more active than typing Frazier Yankees or Todd Frazier Yankees, because we have two Frasers on the Yankees, or had two Frasers. But you'll see that Mets fans want Todd Frazier to be a Met, and the Mets want Todd Frazier. So expect Todd Frazier, supposedly the Rockies are going after him as well to play first base, but he would like to play near his home. So expect the Mets to pick up Todd Frazier. So, like I said, the Yankees are trying to, they can sign you Darvish with Jacoby Ellsbury still being on the roster, but I guess they want to be 100% sure that he's going to be unloaded. And trust me when I tell you this, the Yankees are not going into the 2018 season without an ace on their staff. They could have had Verlander on their staff starting for 2017, but they chose not to. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, because the same people that hyped up Sonny Gray said, oh, Verlander was so old. He's finished, this and that. He showed no signs of being finished. I mean, damn, the previous season, he almost won the Cy Young Award. And you saw this World Series, he literally carried the Astros to a championship. So the Yankees can't make the same mistake going into 2018 without a real ace because they really don't have it. They might have it with Severino, but we don't know what Severino is going to show up for 2018. We, we just don't know. Tanaka is prone to giving up prone runs. We don't know if he's going to show up. 
and be 100%. And Sabathia, who knows what we get out of him. So the Yankees have to go into 2018 with an A certified. So they got to make this move. Within, I'll say, within this week, you'll see you Darvish signing with a team. High possibility it might be the Yankees. So this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.